We are staying at the KOA in Townsend. We have plans to um, do the river rafting. Are y'all excited for the river rafting? We're just coloring. Just coloring right now? Yes. So we'll be doing the river rafting um, tomorrow. We plan to hike. We are staying in site number 70. And this site has electric and water, but does not have sewer hookups. They're a little close, um, but come to prepare for that for KOA. We don't have anybody in the sites next to us currently though, and they're so small sites, so um, it may be harder to, for them to feel with them being small sites. They met us at the gate, brought us in, showed us our site. Plenty of shade. Said they have a bear active at night, so um, hopefully we'll get to see a bear and survive to tell the story. We are not sponsored by KOA. Maybe it's this is as you enter the gate. This is where you check in. They come out and meet you. They escort you to your site. Super nice. Very friendly. Very helpful. You can see I try not to overexpose other people's campsites, but as you can see, they have a swing, a nice table, a very nice fire pit. They got little cabins to rent here and they're so cute. They have a couple of tent sites. They have some patio sites along the river, back end sites, pull through sites. We always love a good KOA. These are the spots that are back in. They're full set up, sewer. 50-30 full out with a patio, and they back right up to the river. This is the playground. I think Bryant's almost gotten too big to give us playground reviews. I like that shirt you're wearing. Thank you. Where'd you get that at? Uh, wherever you got it and it was too small for you, so you gave it to me at? That was my birthday present. Oh. And it was a little too small. This is a very cool playground. Let's see what we have going on over here. That's living the life right there. This is the bathhouse. Several different showers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's two more by the pool. There's laundry in here also. Coming back from the shower. How was the shower? Good. Better than in the camper? Yeah. yeah. So we're at Smoky Mountain National Park Sugarland Visitor Center. And we're going to check out the visitor center, maybe hike a trail. We gotta get a pass. Gotta get a parking pass. Our annual pass expired. Bright hopes to see a bear. No, I do not. He brought his picnic basket for a movie. It's not I want to see a bear. Mm -hmm. But we gotta buy a picnic basket first. Oh, yeah. Gotta get our picnic basket. You have a box bag. Maybe Let's tomorrow when we pick it and see a bear. Oh, goodness. It is June the 19th. Yes. June 10th. And it is 79 degrees. So 
So our national park pass has expired, so we gotta pay for a parking tag while we're here. <laughs> they don't charge an entrance fee, but if you park longer than 15 minutes, you have to pay for a parking tag. So we got our parking pass, and we're gonna go to Clingman Stone. Clingman Stone. That's mine and Bryant's favorite hike. Parking lot for Clingman's Dome. That is so pretty. I can see the river. Mm -hmm. There is the information center and store. It's very crowded what? around here today. So we're about 10 steps into Clingman's Dome. 10? How are those legs feeling, Annie? Bunny. Oh my goodness. Do you regret not hiking any lately? No. No. I don't. <laughs> Tell me, Anna. How do you feel? Good. What did you just tell me? I can feel my heart like that in my hand. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Don't give up now. The view is worth it. We're in a cloud. It's beautiful, isn't it? Are you scared of heights? Yes. Move it. It's the black meter. Yeah. We're at Newfound Gap Overlook. The Tennessee North Carolina state line. Just got finished hiking Cleveland Stone. Okay, guys, what are we going to do today? Kate's Cove. Kate's Cove. Kate's Cove, all right. Then what are we going to do, Jonathan? I want to. Go find that waterfall. I don't even know if that waterfall has a name or not, but it's the waterfall on the right. We just have to pull off, and the water is low enough. I think we can hike out to it. I don't think there's a trail though, so I think we're about to go off the grid. Off the grid. Annie, what do you want to do today? River Rain. River Rain. Float down the river. That's what we came for, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a deer out there. You can see them again. It's a leaf race. Brian, there's a snake over there. I know. So we made it through Cades Cove. What kind of animals did we see? 
turkey. Turkey. Deer. Yeah. Crows. <laughs> I don't know anymore. That's about it. Turkey and deer, huh? Yeah. We did not see any bear, did we? No. That's okay. We saw a snake. Ooh. What kind of snake did we see? I think it was a copperhead. Yeah. It was venomous. Now we're going to try to cross this creek and hike over to the waterfall. Oh, yeah. Is it cold? Took a little swim in a creek. Did it again? Anna's a little spider monkey over here. I don't think the monkey really helped. I think so. Okay, kids, waterfall review. At the beginning, five out of ten. At the end, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Dave, but maybe one or two less points on the trip. Because it caused me a meltdown. <laughs> yeah, there was a few too. It was a little rough, but it felt fabulous. Yeah. Good time. So this is the waterfall that we hiked to from the road, the pull off. After all that long hiking, it's time for a picnic. We're here at the Metcalf Bottom. <laughs> You can go play in the creek? No. Oh. I'm not playing right now. You're finished with creeks for now? Great, how are you? Ah, I think we made our choices. I don't even know what's going on over there. <laughs> we might finish a little bit before Bob. I'm just holding my dad. <laughs> oh no, Dad. Bye. 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 If we could, like, go over the rocks on the rapids, I would have much more fun, though. Yeah. Just a little bit, but it's a good thing for us. Together again. Family. Oh, my goodness. So, we are 
wiggle-wagging. <laughs> My mom and brother keeps getting stuck, and me and dad keep getting stuck. We're just going with the flow, kind of. Um, whenever you first get in, it's like really, really hard to get started. Can you just get stuck? Oh, no, Dad. Our camera has a wet spot. It's okay. Sorry, guys. It's a little bit. <laughs> I almost fell out. Hold on. I don't know, chaos. This is our campground in the background behind us. Think. Thank you, dude. With the river rage tube down the river and the green bus did you like it annie what do you think about it tell us um, it was good. what's your favorite part the um what are they called rapids the rapids. rapids i did not like getting stuck on the rock no no me neither then we got some barbecue from the little barbecue place beside it we're gonna try good. that out yummy so, we're going to see how it all tastes. Three tubes right down through here. This is in front of our campground. And the more I think about it, the funner it was. Get it. Hippie John Jones. Nice. Professional rock skipper at your service. A plus plus. Sure okay, we got a late start this morning, but we're headed to Laurel Falls and check it out. It's been a couple of years since we've hiked this trail, so I think we're going to do it. So, you're excited to hike? All right, here we go. Laura Falls, 1.3 miles there. Is the water cold? Yes. Is, it, is it refreshing? Super awesome weather for today. My wife's gonna make fun of me because I always say super. What y'all think? Thumbs up? Double thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crowded. We were talking about how they needed more parking, but then after we got there, we realized they don't need more parking. The trail can't handle any more parking which is probably, as my wife pointed out, the reason why they've limited the parking because used to you could park on the side of the road and now they have that all blocked off.
So we finished the nature motor trail. It's saw lots of nature, but no wildlife. And now we're taking the Gatlinburg Bypass back towards town. Stop and have a picnic on the way back to the campground. Okay, family, recap. What have we done today? Done the motor nature trail. Yeah. Saw zero bears. Zero. We hiked to Laurel Falls. Okay. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, we did the Gatlinburg Bypass. Overlooked the city. It's very crowded. Yes. I'm convinced that there are zero bears that live in the city. In the city. <laughs> in this town. In this what national park. In this <laughs> national park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now we are having a. A picnic at the Metcalf Bottom. And then we'll see what we can get into this afternoon. And later we'll also go and swimming. Yes. So the pool is closed at the campground. So we are going to the creek. Going to the creek. We're going to float down the river, aren't we? Well, maybe. With our, with our own floats. Hopefully they don't pop. Peek. Fingers crossed. Luckily, our campground has river access. And we are allowed to do this. See Bright swimming down there. Look out, Bright! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> you know he's going to do it on purpose. I like that pink chair. Thank you. You're a Barbie yep. girl living in a Barbie world. Sure I am. So, Bright. Yes. Tell us about your experience. Horrible. Immediately, a rock punctured the float. Then these cracked. Then I lost both of my shoes trying to get back. What do you say about it? Fix it. So that is the worst rate? idea you've had. Yes. Yeah. What do you rate the Let Better TV adventure? Zero oh. out of five stars. <laughs> Never That's returning. It. Stick with the River Rage tubing. Yes. Not the Ledbetter tubing. We are not professionals. We'll, put, we'll get it working one day, guys. Okay. We'll try. And kids. Wow. Are you impressed with my rock stacking abilities? I'm so blessed to have a mop that's so talented at stacking rocks. Thank you, Brian.